Yo, the saga begins. Begin war. I draw first blood, be the first to set it all. My cause, tap all jaws, lay down laws. We take it with jaws, we do jokes, rust the doors. It kind of deeds, trying to make breeze a guns toss. Yeah, I heard this last night. I'm, you know, I'm way late. I'm, I found out about stuff. Ten years after it happened, it's Mob D, Hell on Earth. I heard this last night at the bar at the Improv. I ran the back. I said, I gotta find out who's who's doing that. My man said, that's Mob D. I know all about Mob D. We gonna get him in here. I'm gonna buy this, y'all. If you don't have it already, you need to have this on your player. Player. (laughs) Hey, speaking of a player, we got a real fly brother come up in here to hang with us today. He's the master when it comes to blogging. Leave that music on. We gonna bring it on with that little beat underneath. Yeah, we he's the master of blogging on the West Coast. Uh we know him as Jackie Jazz. Show your love. Yeah. Hey there. This is Jackie. I'm up here kicking it with Mike and crew. Hey, you know, brother. Just welcome. Me... Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Man. I just I I went I just got a chance to find out who you are, urban guru. Yeah. Well, what I, what I do? What you do, guru. I'm the number one west coast urban blog no more. right no and and what i do is like you know all those people who want to come hollywood uh-huh. fulfill their dreams right thinking it's all about milk and honey partying all night long mm. i tell them i tell them all about the dark side about the doors that they're gonna have to open uh-huh. If they want to get to the next level, and maybe if they don't do it, then they be might might be going back home, That's or right. you know, just telling them what's really cracking. Heads up. And 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 from doing it, I get so much intel coming into me. Okay. Like, if you don't pay your staff, uh-huh. if you an athlete and you out there with a call girl and you treating her bad. Uh-huh. If 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 you're a celebrity and you buying dope and you treat your dope man bad, come on now. They gonna call Jackie. <laughs> call Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna call Jackie. Jackie will be getting that call. Yeah, I'll be getting that call. And, and you it, don't mind telling it. I don't mind because it's like it ain't snitching if you don't know the person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. It's not if you don't know the person. Nah. So what it is, you got a lot of people trying to be your personal friends, and then you gotta be like, oh shit, I don't want to be too personal. That's right. So That's I mean, right. it's cool though. You know, I mean, you get some stuff, and you get the intel, and you got to decipher of what's going on, and you got to do some due diligence, and and then when you get the whole story and you put it out, the women go crazy because it's women that be reading them blogs. Ah, oh, okay. The guys, the guys go on there but i think men are more addicted to porn on the internet the women are love addic- it the women are addicted to the gossip okay all right so you know and that's what so i that do. means god has created something for everyone for everybody, everybody. okay so right. everybody's having fun yeah there it is wow. and, and and i mean mike i've been breaking stories all day long yeah. um i don't even know where to start what broke today uh today what did we what did we, we broke today amarion's lover from B2K. What you mean by that? Uh oh. Amarion, I got his, I got his male lover. What? What? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, Hold up. Omarion has a male lover. I mean, I can go down the list with these. You want to play? Pull him out the closet. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yes, pull him out. <laughs> and I'm not talking like speculation. I mean, we actually now got... you found this. You uh, you go and research some stuff. I you mean, don't just yeah. let somebody tell you. You check into it. Yeah. And make sure it's some. It's like this. I, I put the stories out. And what happens is like print magazines, like Star and all these other magazines, print my stuff like four six months down four six months down the road. So they they get all the information from me and then they go do their little due diligence and put it together and put it out there. Like for for instance, Will Smith and Will Smith and Dwayne Martin on Star Magazine cover. I covered that. Um, what did they I do? I can't even remember. What did they do? Oh, you. <laughs> what what? They've been secret love. Wow, now I had heard that. I, yeah, we've been hearing that I for years. Heard that. Yeah, but yeah. but now but now it's all like jumping out. Because what happened what? was you had Lisa Ray chimed in on Twitter on Friday, okay. and she was throwing Dwayne under the bus. Uh oh. And and why she threw Dwayne under the bus is because 
Apparently, Dwayne took the stand against her when she was divorcing Michael in her divorce. Uh oh. And okay. and and what came out of that whole thing was, apparently, she caught them in some hanky panky stuff. Oh wait. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, it's really crazy. And 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 back to Omarion, he was. This this is all tips that come in that I gotta go because you know I'm not running around in these circles. Okay. I, I'm at the house. So that somebody got to call and tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they gotta call and tell me. Then mm -hmm. I gotta go put the feelers out there and start, you know, okay, making it all work and see if it's now, working. How much of it is gossip and how much of it is clear fact? Well, you see, gossip. We don't start talking stuff unless there's some truth to it. Okay. I so I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth about something, and then you tell her, and then it'll go down and start turning gossip. Okay. Because everybody right. puts some extras on it. Okay. So the truth turns into gossip with extras on it. And, and I think we call gossip when you don't have a camera or when you don't have a text message, then okay. it's hearsay. Right. Okay. Right. Then they say it's hearsay. And then people like inquirer and stuff will say, well, we want your hearsay, but we're going to put you up on a polygraph test. And then you pass this polygraph, and then after you pass the polygraph, <laughs> they print. Oh, okay. Like, for instance, when I broke the. I'm gonna go back. I broke the LL Cool J story getting 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 fellatio from trannies up on 14th Street in New York. Yikes. I broke the story with Mr. C getting fellatio on 14th Street from a transgender girl named Brooklyn. How did I get that? The New York Police Department actually sent me the mugshot in the story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's yeah, my wow. intel's crazy. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> So it's like you got Mr. C on the radio talking about he ain't doing this and he ain't doing that. Come on now. You got the mugshot. Yeah, how you you know what I'm saying? And you know I know when I when I read your blog, it always said, Well, how do you know? And then you send them to a story to go read. Yeah. You say, I know it because New York the time says, and then they go to that page, and there's the story. Well, back to Marion, because we started that. Like that came in. We got that tip like about two weeks ago. Someone threw, threw. Um, this is crazy too. She got a radio show here. Named Claudia Jordan. Her assistant, Jason Lee, is actually dating Marion. Huh. Word up. We got huh. photos. Uh oh. <laughs> we got photos. <laughs> Eyebrows are lifting now. Yeah. We got. Photos. Wow. So, I love Claudia Jordan. I, I'm not mad at her. What happened with her? She became the story. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Now, <laughs> she was married to to my man, Datari Turner. And I saw this story when I was on vacation down in Miami. Uh -huh. And I saw them dancing and stuff i was like hey that's my man datari because i knew datari when he was uh getting getting uh getting uh acting lessons from 2d from over what's that show what's the show different 2D, world, what's show 2D from 227 no, 2d uh, uh, wait 2d you know the, the girls there was a facts show with the facts, facts of, of life. life so she used to come over to donald Faison's Fields. house you talking about kim fields kim yeah fields. kim okay. fields she used right. to come over to donald Faison's house and give like Acting lessons to Atari and and shit. Terrence Terrence Howard. This was way back in the day. She's giving it to acting lessons. Yeah, okay. like coaching way back in the day. And I right. used to be on my balcony looking down. These guys are crazy. And mm -hmm. and and when I saw him with Claudia Jordan, I was like, hey, that's my man. Let me write something. So I wrote something. And his girl checked in, who mm -hmm. was working for Oprah Winfrey. Okay. And she gave me some, she gave me the spiel on it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to rock this. So I rocked it, wrote what she said, and I opened a can of worms. You know, then Tari got at me and says, you know, oh, man, you, I, I need to talk to you because this wedding was just not it. It was just all media hype. And he's telling me this and whatever. So I was like, okay, you my man. I'm going to ride with you. Right? So I did what I had to do with him. And then Claudia... Jason Lee checked in. And Jason Lee says, well, I like what you're doing and all that, but you don't got to throw my girl under the bus. I was like, tell her, call me. <laughs> Keep calling me. You call. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's hear both sides of the story so we can, you know, make it, make it a mutual thing. So 
she didn't call, but what what kept on happening was intel coming in about her. Like if I did a story on 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 Jackie Jasper on my site, I would get people sending me in intel on Jackie Jasper. You know what I'm saying? It, okay. You could you could have met you could have met me in Minnesota, Atlanta. You're gonna chime in to the site and send in. You know, I met this guy at the gas mm-hmm. station. Okay. He was a creep. Well, I met him and he was mad cool. I don't believe your story. You know what I'm saying? So you getting okay. so what happened was I started getting a whole bunch of stuff on her. And I mean it started to get crazy. See what I'm saying? But I don't want to throw under the bus while I'm sitting here. This is where she was. So <laughs> the bottom <laughs> I'm I'm gonna tell you this, Mike. What I've learned from this whole thing, a lot of the girls in Hollywood, how do they pay their rent? How do they support their lifestyles? See, I never figured that out until I started doing what I was doing. Because then the word trick started to hit all over the place. Now, I thought a prostitute was a person you go to Euros or Craigslist. Or you drive down on the stroll. But in this thing that we call Hollywood, we got a whole different type of soliciting going on. And I started to get <laughs> I started to get intel on on girls who are video vixens, girls who are supposed to be models and probably C or D actresses okay. started to get their intel on how they were making their bills and 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 all right hold up now we're about to take a break yeah but now let me ask them first of all are these prescription glasses or are you just wearing them because you too cool for the room no they are they're cool i mean they're clear are they clear okay yeah. all right okay it's like i'm still seeing you now okay all yeah right. the lens is cool okay and and as we go to, to the to the commercial i do want to say this this is this man saying all this stuff, okay? Yeah, I want yeah, it's me. Saying, it's Jackie. It don't have nothing to do with the station. We don't know how much of this nah, shit is nah, true. Nah, we don't know nah. this man like that, but we want to hear the shit. So we're going to be back uh, after the commercial, and we're going to get to part two of this. I noticed you got yeah. a bodyguard you want to bring in. You want us to meet yeah, the bodyguard. Well, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't travel. like I don't travel solo. So you're throwing people under the bus. You got to walk yeah, around. No, shit, you be talking. You better have a yeah, big fella you, with you. You got to be walking around with the super friend. We'll be right back to meet the big fella <laughs> and to hear some more from Jackie Jasper <laughs> here at LA Talk, at Talk Live. Live. Dot Dot com. Com. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to L.A. Talk Live, reality radio, and crafted for your listening pleasure. This is L.A. Talk Live, and we're more than just talk. Stay tuned.